done with Windows. How many times have you told that to yourself, especially with all the different issues with background services, updates, and so many other problems Windows has? But I'll let you know right now, SteamOS does not work on a full AMD build, but I will show you how to install either SteamOS or Bazite on this video. If you don't know how to get to it, just go down in the description box down below and just go down here and download Rufus 4.7, the standard if you're installing it on Windows. And also the reason why I'm doing it on the desktop, so it's a lot easier for you to see. Rufus has found the updated version. If you get this DBX file, just click yes, just install it. In order to get here, just go down to the description box down below. What this is, is the Steam Deck image. Just hit the check mark and click download. Ah, uh, this is getting exciting. We're almost, we're just about there. So now we got the image just like how we expect that you don't have to open it up, you don't have to do anything, but you do need this image. So what you have to do here with Rufus is just make sure it is a boot selection. So you're gonna make sure it's a disc or ISO. So just make sure to choose that. And then we're going to select the Steam Deck re uh, repair. It looks funny. It just should just say Steam Deck OS. It would just make, make a little bit more sense, but just click that. And then once it's ready to go, you're going to need at least a three to four gigabytes. You want it to be FAT32, which is it's already defaulted to. Now you can take a look down here. Just make sure everything's good. We're good here. And we're going to start. It's going to erase everything in the USB. And we're okay with that. Just make sure you are. Make sure you don't have any important data before you continue. And just click OK. Now, if you need any USB drives, just check down in the description box down below, and I will also have it. So just let it write the image. It's going to take a little bit, but once it does, we'll go into the Asus ROG Ally, and I'll show you what to do next. It's getting close to the finish, but just have a little patience here. As it says, please wait. Make sure it is fully complete. It will let you know. All right, now it's ready to go. Close out of this. Make sure to go and eject your drive now. This is the same USB that I used to flash Steam OS into the Asus ROG Ally. All we have to do is reboot this PC since we already backed it up. And now we can go ahead and install Steam OS. Hopefully everything goes well. You wanna make sure to turn off secure boot before trying to install Steam OS into the system. So we're going to go ahead and try to do that first. Most motherboards, if you hit escape or F2, will take you into the BIOS. Go to boot, make sure to go over to other OS here, and then you're gonna just, instead of standard, we're gonna go custom, we're gonna exit, and now we're gonna save and change and reset. And also, before we do that, we also wanna change the boot options here. We wanna make sure to boot up from the USB where we have Steam. And now we're gonna save and reset. This is what the Steam OS looks like. We're going to attempt to install it on this PC. It's going to be very interesting for the most part, especially because this is going to be on a full PC build with a RX 9070 XT. I am so curious to see how well this PC will perform, and this is going to be fun. So why not try to switch over to Steam OS? Why stick with Windows if we don't have to? I'm curious if even ultra wide is supported. If 1440p will be supported. I don't know if it's only strictly going to be on a 1080p display, but we'll see because it practically does run Linux. As I figured, the, the desktop one in PE it looks a bit stretched out. Looks like it's in 1080, but that's okay. We're just going to go ahead and wipe the device and install Steam OS. Proceed if you're ready to go. You don't have to do this because it's going to wipe your whole system. Make sure you back up your drive just as I did. And if you don't know how, make sure to check out the video card right above. So now we sit and wait. Looks like we're good to go. So we're going to proceed. This is where you have to have the most patience. It takes a little bit of time for the OS to install on your PC and hope for a successful boot, but to our installation, it seems that it was just consistent failure. Steam OS just refused to boot in our system. We tried every which way in order to get Steam OS to work. Fortunately, I feel it is more of a kernel issue. 
So we're going to have to do with Bazite instead. What you want to do is go to what hardware are you using? Reason being is you have to fill this out because you want to get the most accurate OS. So we're going to install it on a desktop instead of any handheld. And next for the GPU, it's going to be AMD because it's a RX 9070 XT, but you do have other options such as Nvidia RTX card, Intel, or even legacy GPU cards if you choose to. Now for the environment, I like KDE because it's just like Steam OS, or you choose to install GNOME, and then we are going to install game, uh, game Steam game mode. And now we can officially download Bazite. This is just going to be just like the Steam OS installation on the USB on step one. So you can refer to it if you want a little bit more detail, but you simply select the image of Bazite and now you go ahead and hit start for the USB. Everything else will set itself. Now all you have to do is go to the PC, hit F2 or escape to get to the BIOS. Now we already had Steam OS installed onto our M.2 drive. Now we just have to boot from our new USB, which is Bazite. To get to this point in installing Bazite deck, what you're gonna do is select the language first, and then you're going to reformat the drive that you choose to have Bazite OS set in. Now you can always do a split boot or a dual boot, but that's completely up to you. And you can just let Bazite just work in the background to sit and have a little patience. And next thing you know, you'll be through with the installation. Get to the point here, you want to continue boot. And once you continue booting, it should boot right up into Bazite. It should set take you to the first setup screen. We are in Bazite, so it's definitely the fact that Steam OS is not currently compatible with AMD's 9000 series. So it looks like Bazite, Bazite will work. And let's see how well it does. Just follow through the setup guide and just let it do its thing and install. Just let it boot one more time and it should be pretty much good to go. It's gonna take a little time, but it'll be worth it. So now I'm just gonna use my Steam Guard on my mobile app. But you could also manually type it if that is your choice. And now we are officially in. Let me introduce to you a site. And yes, we already got OBS Studio installed. Pretty excited about that. Well, anyway, let me show you what the Bazite desktop looks like. Now, you can see Tux here, chilling, just wanting to play some of his games, which is just like how we feel right now. Now, you probably have noticed that it looks pretty similar to Steam OS if you've seen it before. Steam OS's desktop, and it's because it's on Linux. We already got Doom Dark Ages installed, and we even got gaming mode, but I can't enter it, otherwise it's going to cut off this screen record. But I do want to introduce to you what the icons are, just as we got this application launcher, we have Firefox, and we do have Steam right there, we have Lutris, we have the terminal command, and we also have the Discover and Dolphin, which is the File Explorer. Of course, you got OBS right next to it. Now you have your preview, and if you look over to your right, you do have your taskbars, where it has OBS, it's just letting me know it's screencasting right now. Of course, you can do your updates, your volume, your Bluetooth, and even adaptive settings if you'd like. But just to let you know, if you have a ultra wide monitor just like me, it's best to enter a game through desktop. Otherwise, you're going to be stuck on a 16-9 ratio. So let's go into Doom Dark Ages. It plays nice and smooth, and it runs great. I'm definitely going to give a review on Bazite and also on Steam OS later in June, which I'm going to be excited to share with you guys, but it plays excellent. There was no drop offs at all. It was locked in at 100 Hertz, which is what the max this monitor that is currently on this RX 9070 XT build can go. And it was also on nightmare settings. Only negative is I cannot turn on frame generation when it came to AMD's FSR. Also, the other part, as I mentioned earlier, in order to enjoy ultra-wide goodness, you want to make sure that you enter through desktop, otherwise you'll be stuck on a 16-9 ratio, and that won't really be any fun. But it does play pretty flawless, and I can't wait to share my thoughts with you on how well it goes. 
and I want to give it a thorough review, so I want to use it for several weeks before I can really give you a rating on what I think of it. Also, I hope you found this content very useful. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions, feel free to ask and join our Discord, which we are all willing to help out each other. If you're not part of the Big Wonderful Fan Man, make sure you're down and hit the subscribe button for more. And don't forget to hit the notification bell. And also make sure you follow my X handle right here, as it is the same as my TikTok and IG as well. Thanks so much for watching. This is Chris Mingo signing out.